So we are at Nagahama Dam, one of our favorite places, and right now the water level's low, so that means that a lot of birds are fishing right here because it's, it's easy fishing, you know, the fish can't hide it all. So we are trying out the ZF with some big glass. We have the 800 um, today, and actually it's doing pretty well. So um, it has the same same processor as the Z9, so we're hoping that it performs much better than the Z62, Z72, stuff like that. So the problem is, is it's kind of rainy. So <laughs> we are in uh, weather delay until we can get back out there and try, but we'll, we'll shoot for, um, what do we have? We have Osprey, Cormorant, is that it? That's it, that's it. And Brian's, we can shoot Brian's too. Yeah, I mean, the autofocus is so much better than even the Z62. The Z62 could not get bird in flight at all, but this one can. Yeah, so, so far I really like it. The expectation, so if we look at the DF, the DF I think was a complete failure. Nikon decided to handicap it. They didn't give it any anything special, just the looks. But with this one, they actually gave it the good processor um, yeah, <laughs> Osprey is right out there. So I'm very happy with it. I think that they could have done a little bit more. What else is it lacking? Some of the some of the video bit rates just aren't there. But um, in general, I, I'm very happy with uh, with how it shoots. We'll see how Brian does when he looks at the footage later. Um, one of the things that Brian complained about, and he complains about this a lot he's a complainer, no, is that the moray. So I guess you can see moray in the both photo and video when you really zoom in. And that was a big problem with the Z50. So I don't notice it nearly as much in the Z9. So I assume that the Z8 uh, won't have the problem, but you can see it on the ZF. So, hey Brian, th the moray, was that with the electronic shutter or all the time? All the time. So you just have to look out for it because that's something you can't edit out. You can't edit out moray on video. So when we look at uh, wildlife, bird shooting, um, you can't even compare it to the Z62, Z72s, and then <laughs> the Z6 and Z7 before that were even much worse. So they are, this one is actually, you can actually use it for birding, even though it's not really made for it. So when you go into the autofocus menu, there's no bird you know, autofocus, but when you put it on the animal, it can find it and, and it works. So. Um, for wildlife, I think it's actually quite acceptable. Um, there's no real benefit to having the dials for wildlife. Um, it just makes it loud and you have to look up from the screen or from the viewfinder to change it. But if you're gonna buy it and you do wildlife, I think it's quite acceptable. And uh, yeah, how about you, Brian? It worked. Yeah, it works, I really love, like it. Yeah, the, the autofocus is very good. You can't really compare it to the Z9, just because of, you know, or Z8, but if you compare it to other cameras in the same price range, it does amazing compared to other Nikon gear. So yeah, very happy with it, with uh, animal, even eye detect on animals, very good. Man, this is, after using this, it reassures me my Z9 is garbage, it's dead. <laughs> so we only have one ZF, so 
I'm holding in the Z8 now because Brian has a ZF. We're kind of playing with it to do recording or vlogging with it. Um, so far, it works just as well as the Z8. So, um, yeah, what do you think, Brian? That's his thumb, if you can't tell. That's, that's a thumbs up. No, so it, it actually works very well. We have the microphone input. We're using the Rode Wireless 2, Wireless 1. Wireless one, yeah. Rode Wireless One, and the autofocus works very well. It picks up on the face, eyes, no problem, right? Okay. Does it? It's fine. Fine? see it's about to rain more and we ran out of time so um, in general I love the ZF so there's definitely some lacking in it but honestly at the price point it is an amazing camera for walk around shooting family photos and even if you want to you know go into a little bit of the wildlife or vlogging and it's 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 really um, really great camera for many different uses so I think it's gonna be well used between Brian and I all right so Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.